you and Stephen here again from how to waterfed poleperfect.com and guys what I'm talking to you today about is insurance and specifically public liability insurance now I've done a video on this ages ago but I thought it was worth doing it again I know loads of you guys out there right now don't have public liability insurance and guys before you go out and do another day's work you have to get it straight away now, nobody likes to pay out on insurance, whatever type of insurance it is, but you've really got to get it. I'm going to give you two for instances. And in my own neighbourhood, there have been two instances in the last week from tradesmen that don't have insurance. One was a painter. The painter had his ladders up against a wall of a house, apparently. Uh, a gust of wind came, blew down the ladders, and it fell and it hit a child the customer's child that was playing nearby. Again, guys, should the child have been playing nearby? Should he have said, knocked on the door and said, here, you don't mind, it's quite hazardous with the ladders and things, do you mind taking the child in? That didn't happen. And again, the ladders fell. The child spent days in hospital getting scans done. Thankfully, the child is okay. But again, he has no public liability insurance, they found out. So what happens now? What happens with, to the medical costs and things like that? Where is he going to stand legally? You see, if he's a homeowner, he's personally liable for any damages that occurred. So whether that's his car, his house, any of his property can be liable in that instance. So again, you don't want that to happen. Another example was a guy putting a roof, a flat roof on a house, and his propane torch blew up and set fire to half the house. Again, very dramatic, but the people who hired him thought he had public liability insurance, uh, but he didn't. So again, who pays for all the damage? Who pays to half rebuild their house? Who knows? So guys, it's getting stricter and stricter all the time as regards health and safety and public liability insurance. Loads of the factories that I go into and commercial premises won't have me unless we have the public liability insurance that we do. And you know what, guys, even homeowners are asking these days, do you have public liability insurance? So guys, you have to get it for your own safety and then for the safety of your customers as well, because accidents do happen. If you're using the waterfed pole system, somebody could trip over a hose and damage themselves legitimately. But guys, as you know, we talk about a bit of business as well on this show and not just um, what you should do practically. And guys, you can really use your public liability insurance as a real tool in your toolbox. In fact, it's a fantastic tool to step you ahead of all of your competition, the guys that don't have it. For instance, where I am, I had a call this week from a customer who rang around loads of different guys, they have websites, the whole thing, and she said, will you bring your public liability certificate to the job before you start? And they had various excuses why they didn't have a certificate, and one guy even admitted that he had let it lapse and he didn't renew. So guys, I got the job because I have all my ducks in a row. And I'm saying the same for you. If you spend out on the public liability insurance, let your customers know. Let them know you're a proper business, you do things right, you have all your um, safety assessment sheets and all those kind of things done, and you have your public liability insurance. Sell it to them. If you run Facebook ads, drop that in as a line. We are fully insured for all industrial, commercial and domestic cleaning works. Put it in, advertise it. It gives the customer peace of mind and it really helps with your building your brand image as basically you're doing things properly. You're doing things by the book. And you know what? I don't want to hear any of that rubbish. I'm covered off the house's insurance. I'm covered off the shop's insurance. Guys, if somebody trips over it, the last thing you want is to be squabbling whose insurance is going to pay for whom. And in fact, the customer that rang me asking me to bring my certificate to the job rang her own home insurance company and her home insurance company said they will not insure or cover any liability due to a window cleaner on the property. So her home insurance would completely walk away if there was damage done by you or me on that property with her insurance company. But if you do have the insurance company, uh, if you do have the public liability guys, don't switch off now because it, 
it's very important to read the small print. Insurance companies, as we know, whether it's car or no matter what it is, they'll look for any excuse whatsoever to walk away and to not pay out on a claim. So what are some of the things in the, my small print that I have to look out for? Well, it says that adequate warning has to be given of any potential hazards. So you're a hazard yourself. Um, somebody could bump into you, fall over you, trip over you. So you're talking high visibility, high visibility clothing at all times. Do you wear that, guys? Do you have insurance, but you don't wear it? Do you have adequate signage? So if you're working on an area, do you have a little cone that says warning, uh, cleaning works in operation or something like that to warn people of that? Now, sometimes some buckets, if you're using the old um, traditional methods, might have a warning triangle on the front and, and that might suffice. But guys, your insurance company can wiggle out of all these things if you don't have the adequate warning signs in place. So if, for instance, we're doing an inside job today, um, a, a fantastic uh, place in town where we're doing floors, doing a whole pile of works for them, and we have signage and warning cones around the whole area that we're working on. We have proper signage made up saying, please, for instance, don't use the stairs, a cleaning operation please use the lift that's just beside it and again guys be creative about it be smart everything is an opportunity uh, don't view it as oh I have to do this oh I have to do that no it's a fantastic opportunity so on those signs that I've got done up for today what what have I got on it well I've got the website another great job brought to you by Stephen Lee Clean Services com there's a little Facebook icon saying find us on Facebook like us on Facebook so that when all their customers are going past seeing a great job being done they can then go and find out who it is that's doing the job see us on Facebook and maybe that could even be even more potential customers so again everything guys is an opportunity including insurance so guys you have no excuse shop around for the insurance get the adequate insurance and it will propel your business to the next level you need it your customer needs it you have to get it guys thanks very much and if you have any other uh, questions be sure to leave uh, a comment at the end of the video and i'll get back to you or even make a new video just for you to answer your questions so guys knock it out the park today i know you can have a great day um what do you want to get done today What's your goal? At the end of the day, what would you be satisfied with? What kind of person would you want to be today with your customers, with your family, with, with yourself? So go out, knock it out the park, and have a great day, guys. Uh, more coming soon from Stephen here at howtowaterfellpoleperfect.com. Thanks, guys. Talk to you again.